Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to use Visual Studio Code for doing all the scripting work in uh, our uh, game development using Unity. So why are we? Why I am recommending Visual Studio Code is because Visual Studio Code is just a small and fast code editor. Like it's nearly around 56 MB to download. and comparing to visual studio community edition like that program is about 1.4 gb or sometimes with added packages it becomes 3 gb and it takes too much time to load it so we will uh, go through step by step process how to do this thing so first of all what you have to do you just open any of the browser and just search out code.visualstudio.com according to your os what you need to do is just uh, check out os and get your uh, package downloaded like mine is windows so i'll directly click on download for windows oh it will take us to another page and uh, within some moments our uh, download should begin and here we can see so actually i have already downloaded it and installed it so that's a simple process you can do by yourself so i'm discarding this uh, download you if you want to download you just have to keep it or most of the time it won't ask you even that thing but i'm discarding okay so i have downloaded it and installed it that's a really simple process you guys can do that thing okay so when you open it up it should look something like uh, this okay uh, something like this so next thing says like Uh, visual studio code is just a code editor code editor means where you can edit code but specifically here we are going to deal with c sharp so we have to add some packages so first let's check out unity do we have any packages for unity yes we have like we have debuggers for unity so we will install it we will have unity tools okay it seems promising so we install it we have unity code snippet we install it okay uh, so like i'm going i'm installing those thing but there are reasons why i'm installing like code snippets okay code snippets basically helps to helps you to get uh, the suggestions like if there is a project okay we will understand the thing in uh, practically okay Uh, so first let's install our that thing and uh, second is uh, in which language we are going to code that is c sharp so is there any package for c sharp yeah there is a package and i'll since it's already installed so i don't have to install it okay in the way in the way we have uh, made our visual studio code ready to handle all the scripting work but i have to tell my unity application that bhai you should use that thing na unity code so what we'll do we'll go we'll open any of the project you can make changes in any of the project and that will be reflected in all other projects you go to edit preferences and check out external tools here if you find visual studio code option here you are really lucky if you don't find there is no problem you, you can browse that thing okay okay so Uh, to make this process even more simpler so it's already here if you don't find that thing in browser so what you do you just go to start menu and check out visual studio code right click on that thing open file location okay we have the file location now we'll click on here and we'll copy this path uh, like there's no need of this thing so just paste that path here press enter it should open where visual studio code is you just click on that and open that thing and it will load up this thing with visual studio code it will take time okay it's done now whenever okay close that thing whenever we will launch our script here yeah. it will now open visual studio code and you can yourself see how fast it's loading up okay so uh, let's uh, go back to why we have installed that much of extension like add. if you go at the rate installed you'll find what all the things you have installed like c c++ that is uh, my 
choice you don't have to do that thing so she sharp why we have uh, installed she sharp because whatever we are writing it is in she sharp language so the unity uh, sorry the visual code studio code must know and must check whatever we are writing is syntactically correct so for that it has to use some libraries now so that is in the inside this c sharp package second thing is debugger for unity you guys are programmers you know what a debugger does you just whenever you want to debug the program the debugger for unity is there for you send second is a unity code snippet so what you do in unity code snippet like i know that there is a function which starts with on so here you can see there are lots of options you can see these suggestions are given with the help of unity code snippets the last one is unity tools uh, okay, and this one is my favorite like uh, you downloaded one script and uh, you have a doubt like hey what does this mono behavior means you just have to click on that this thing and press control and single quote button it will directly redirect you to the unity docs with the related word means the documentation search specifically to with this word okay so that will really help you out and uh, with this i hope you understood each and every step and just for another thing that if you see any pop ups right here you just install all those pop ups they are basically the extra dependencies that is needed you don't have to uh, means uh, be confused you just install each and everything okay what whatever pop ups come this side great so in case of any doubts use the comment section box thank you